Hey everyone, I hope you're having a nice weekend so far. On the last poll I asked everybody what class you thought deserved another build, and without a doubt the big man won. So today I have another theme to build. I wanted to go back and create a terminator of an ogren, something that's able to protect as well as deal a decent amount of damage. My main goal with this build is to apply as much crowd control damage as I can while providing ways to cycle toughness back into my ogren so we can keep on swinging. So without wasting too much of your time, let's break down the build. Starting off with my melee weapon, I went with a Mark 1 Bully Club because I love watching heretics fly. Nah, I'm just kidding. But on a real note, this weapon has a lot of power behind each swing, and with the route that I'm currently going, I needed something quick and powerful. So I went with damage to Maniacs and Carapist Armored Enemies. This way I can deal with any specialist trying to close out my team's spacing and any elites that might press me. For my blessings, I went with Skull Crusher as it has a lot of damage scaling whenever we hit a staggered target, which we'll be able to do very easily with our main ability. And next, I took momentum so we can consistently keep our toughness up whenever we're fighting within the crowd. For my secondary option, I was having way too much fun with the Rumbler again, so I wanted to incorporate that Terminator feel into this build. With this weapon, I wanted to do more damage to unyielding and flak armored enemies. This should be fairly easy to do since my blast damage and radius are increased to the max amount on my Rumbler. This weapon's already really great at staggering bosses, and in most instances, Reapers and Bulwarks will actually die to the first shot that I reload. To make sure that we can always hit that target though, I'm taking adhesive charge so we can stick our grenade charge to any ogrens or monstrosities. And to make it even more effective, I'm taking Shattering Impact as my last blessing. This helps not only my shots eat through the armor, but my allies as well. As for my curios, I liked having at least one max health curio and two toughness curios. All of them have boost to health and toughness though, with some having boost to toughness regen speed, gunner resistance, and even stamina regeneration. Here's my talent tree. One thing I will say about this build is that it feels like you can truly protect your team from any problem. The most enjoyment I ever had out of this build was controlling most situations with either weapon. To get a second to breathe in between fights alongside my allies, I could shoot my rumbler into the floor to stagger and stun all the enemies around me. And whenever I need to tear through the horde, I can just use my bully club. Both weapons are extremely viable in any situation and provide me with plenty of ways to escape some awful scenarios. Now for my ability, I went with Loyal Protector. This is an ability that I honestly haven't used in a minute, but I forgot how useful it can be for any team. When you taunt enemies, they will get staggered and stunned for a few seconds. This is where we can make great use out of our club. To maximize the damage, I also took Valuable Distraction. This bumps the base damage by plus 25% from all sources and is applied to any enemy affected by my taunt. To make sure that we can hit everything around us, I also took Big Lungs to truly protect my teammates. This helps create a wider radius around us, allowing our allies to take care of any target giving them trouble. With this build, I tried taking the big box of hurt, but its lack of damage never felt good enough compared to the frag bomb. The idea of the frag should always be to throw it when you or someone else is in trouble. This is the team reset button and dishes out a ton of damage. Use it when you need it most. I took Bonebreaker Zora to help assist mine and everyone else's heavy melee attacks. Since we're gonna have tons of different ways to apply more damage when we get to the passives, this aura will help us out tremendously. I've always really enjoyed being the tanky ogren, so feel no pain as my keystone ability just felt right. The amount of toughness replenishment that we can have while being tanky from also earning damage reduction is an awesome deal. Try to defend whenever you can as you'll want your stacks to stay high. Now for my passive abilities, I really wanted to try to dish out a ton of damage with my weapons. Something that the rumbler lacks in though is ammo consumption. So this time around, I took ammo stash to help aid me in a few extra shots. This just bumps our overall total up by 25%, which helps in the long run with each ammo clip that we find, giving us a little bit more there too. I took Attention Seeker so we can still taunt enemies even with our block or push. This passive can help save a teammate in need, which is what this build is all about. Batter is another passive I love to take whenever I have a solid melee weapon, as it makes chewing through the horde enemies that much easier. Four stacks of bleed per heavy hit is a great way to help finish off any escaping specialists. And with Big Boom, our Rumbler and our Frag gets a sizable buff pushing our explosion radius up by 22.5%. This makes staggering and killing heretics effortless. We want a heavy hit a lot with this build, so I took Delight and Destruction so I can get the most out of my damage resistance whenever I apply a bleed stack to an enemy. This also can stack up to 6 times, so keep heavy hitting monstrosities to lower the amount of damage that they can dish out to you. With Dominate, we can get 15% more rending for 10 seconds on any elite kills. This can help clear out any packs of elites really quickly after your first kill. And since we're going to be picking fights with elites often, I wanted Heavyweight to help mitigate the amount of damage that we receive, as well as can dish out. Lynchpin will save us because of the boost in toughness we receive while in coherency. This makes regening our toughness much faster, allowing us to keep pushing through the horde. We're most likely going to be taking damage from enemies with this build, but don't stress. With payback time, we can deal up to 20% more damage for 5 seconds whenever we're hit by a melee attack. 
And with Reloaded and Ready, we can spam shots across the way into other specialists and elites, dealing 12% more range damage after each reload. I only took Smashing because we have momentum on the Bully Club already, and that does what the best defense would already do. But with Smashing, we can single out any enemy with a heavy and instantly replenish 25% of our toughness back. Now while we do that, if the enemy happens to be as tanky as we are, we can count on soften them up to help with the damage. This makes it so any enemy that we hit takes 15% more damage for 5 seconds, so keep on swinging. Since we want to receive as many bonuses from our allies as we can, Towering Presence pushes our coherency radius up by 50%, allowing for even more toughness regen as well. And lastly, I took Won't Give In, as with any situation that goes wrong, we will want to be as helpful as we can. This will help push our damage reduction up by 20% per knocked or incapacitated teammate within 20 meters. This passive has come in clutch for me before, as when teammates go down, it makes fighting bigger enemies a lot easier because of how tough you become. Now most of my operative modifiers are extremely helpful to me. I receive boosts in health, heavy melee damage, base melee damage, reload speed, rending, toughness, and toughness damage reduction. Overall, your team can depend on you to be the one to tank through most of the enemies in the way, but most of all, they can depend on you to be the one to save them too. This mean machine has a lot of different ways to keep his own survivability up while dealing a substantial amount of damage back. Just remember your strengths in a fight and try to protect your allies. I just wanted to say thank you all for watching and showing constant positivity in the comments section below. If you want to leave any feedback, that's the place to leave it. And I'd also like to thank the support from my channel members. Your generosity is extremely appreciated. Anyways, I'm going to be working on a tips and trick video for my next upload, but until then, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the match.
I'll be back.